let me tell you a bit about what we do. Um, our core purpose uh, as Dunhumby is about providing value for customers um, through the insight that we get through club card data um, to make the media that people experience more relevant and more personal. I think the word relevant occurs in virtually every slide, um, so if you hear that a lot, then maybe go away with that one word. So our vision uh, in what we do, it's our goal is to help Tesco and, brand, and brands engage customers where and when they are in a way that they most want it, so that the message resonates for them. Knowing everything we do with all the club card data that we've got from all the millions of club card people out there, that means that we can create timely, engaging experiences that then reward loyalty, simplify their lives, and make it feel personal for them. So what we've done is we've used all that data we've got from the club card uh, to understand how the customers work, and then put that into how we can build a toolkit of media opportunities so that Tesco can talk better to customers and so can brands. Uh, and it's all about this role of insight to action. So it's using intelligent media, uh, which is then tailored and integrated in a timely way and ultimately is accountable. And that's more and more important. We actually have um, 20 different media in our, our media portfolio uh, and using those different tools you can reach over half the UK population. So this is a big opportunity. Um, and we can talk to people wherever they are, whether they're at home, whether they're uh, out on the move or the, whether they're in store. And we can fit those messages to whether it's going to be about awareness, education, activation or um, advocacy. Uh, at the end there you see that we have uh, Buzz Agent and Orchard, which are our two advocacy platforms. So it's all about, uh, both from Tesco and also from the client's perspective, it's encouraging more customers uh, to visit more often, and when they do visit more often, to spend more. The objective here is to create multi-channel experiences because we know that the more media touch points that you can place between you and someone purchasing a product, the more likely they are to actually go ahead and buy it. Let's move on to uh, screen side of things, which ultimately is, I guess, part of why we're here. Um, and it's all, uh, particularly the two of the big partners we work with, as Matt was saying, uh, and Screen and JC and Co. Um, and we're heading now into an area where digital is very much uh, all about accountability. Um, so, um, and screen for us is a, is a major partner. Um, they have the 24 inch screens which sit at the main till points at all Tesco's petrol filling stations and all the big stores. Uh, and that went in in October last year and reaches weekly 3 million people. So it's a, it's a big old package. And it's a great location to be because when you're in a filling station, you're going to be spending around three minutes at the till point. So it's a really good chance for you to make sure that you've engaged with those screens. Uh, and it's also a great, not just for advertising, but also for sponsored content. So uh, Garmin, for example, are a sponsor of all the traffic and travel updates. There's a live content feed to the screens, which means that when you're planning and buying the activity, um, you can activate it by day part, you can activate it by store location, and you can even, if you want to, say, well, it's a lovely day out there, like today, so you can activate a weather-based campaign. To co know that over 300 uh, campaigns have run for paper, that if you're running posters, just straightforward paper posters, you're going to see an uplift of around 17% in sales compared to control stores. So that's the kind of benchmark. So how would digital improve that? Well, what they did is they ran five tests, five brands, and they looked at digital versus paper, then animated, uh, and then flexed in the animated campaigns to understand how you can, in effect, dial up the effect, uh, effect of your campaign. Um, and the result is, looking at these five tests, and it is only five brands, an early stage, but it gives an indication. If you are using it to all its maximum capability, so you're dialing up the campaign, you're flexing the schedule so that the, um, the ads go out when your consumer is most likely to be buying your product, and you have an animated campaign, and it's digital, it's actually going to be delivering a 25% better sales effect than just um, using paper alone. So it's a more effective campaign. And part of the reason it's more effective is because it works for the consumer better. They're walking into a store wanting to buy toothpaste or croissants and seeing an ad that's relevant to them, so it's more likely to make them feel about going, going ahead and buying that. So when I'm, my bag's just over there, but I'm not prepared to put my phone in the bag because this matters too much to me. Um, in fact, people tend to get very upset if they're more than a few meters away from their phone at any one time. Um, and that matters because actually the average person checks their mobile phone 150 times a day. Uh, that's phones and texts and emails and uh, working out how you're going to get the train that you've just missed. 
are you going to get from Stratford to here, working out it's a 28 minute walk and you've got 24 minutes, all the different things that you use to get yourself here. Um, people's mobile phones are just literally part of their extension of the body nowadays. Um, and that's something, and if you're thinking that that's such an important part of people's lives, it's also a very personal part of people's lives. Getting the messaging is right, right, it's very important, but clearly that's an area where we're very excited about. Imagine if we could deliver messages which were both relevant and timely while you were in store. Um, so I'll leave you to fill in some blanks there because we don't give away too much, but for us it's a really exciting area because people are in stores already and they're using it to find out about offers, discounts, product information, they're looking to check price comparisons um, and, uh, and do their shopping lists. So at the moment, the way that the smartphone might get used in the store is using it for a bit more of a toy or a trick, if you like. Uh, because when you're shopping, there are only really three things that we can do to help you shop. We can help you speed you through the shop so you get from A to B quicker, so you can help find things in the aisles, maybe not wait so long at the till point. We can give you a better price point so that you come back because actually uh, you're getting a better deal. Um, or we can just make the whole experience more fun, uh, less tiresome. Most people don't really thoroughly enjoy shopping. Mm -hmm.